Welcome back to ArxFlix. Today, we're diving into a fascinating paper titled Finite Scalar Quantization, VQV Made Simple. This research proposes a simplified approach to vector quantization, VQ, in variational autoencoders, VAEs, aiming to improve codebook utilization and reduce complexity. This figure illustrates the core idea of finite scalar quantization, FSQ. Instead of using a large learnable codebook like traditional VQ, FSQ projects the VAE representation into a lower dimensional space, where each dimension is quantized to a fixed set of values. This creates an implicit codebook, eliminating the need for complex codebook learning mechanisms. Traditional VQ VAs often struggle with codebook collapse, where many codewords remain unused. This is due to the complex optimization process involving auxiliary losses and codebook receding. FSQ addresses these challenges by simplifying the quantization process. It uses a fixed grid partition in a lower dimensional space, allowing for efficient codebook utilization without auxiliary losses. Here's a visual comparison of FSQ and VQ. FSQ projects the encoder output to a few dimensions, then quantizes each dimension to a fixed set of values. VQ, on the other hand, projects to a much higher dimension and uses a large, learnable codebook for quantization. The paper evaluates FSQ on various tasks, including image generation with MaskIt and dense prediction tasks with UVM. This figure shows the results of MaskIt trained with FSQ and VQ on ImageNet, we see that FSQ achieves comparable performance to VQ while utilizing a much larger codebook. The paper demonstrates that FSQ is a viable alternative to VQ, offering comparable performance with a simpler and more efficient approach. FSQ achieves high codebook utilization without relying on auxiliary losses, making it a promising technique for various applications. That's a quick overview of this exciting paper. If you're interested in learning more about FSQ and its applications, I encourage you to check out the full paper and the code on GitHub. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more research summaries. Until next time, keep exploring the world of deep learning. Thanks a lot to Element for supporting ArxFlix and providing this wonderful voice.